This is a box of gold coins cursed by the ancestors, the pirate who stole it. Normally it looks like, just like a normal person, but just stand in the moonlight. It will reveal itself. The pirates were immortal though they were, but he was deprived of all his senses, not getting any material benefits, although it seems to be alive, but it's no different than dying. To break the curse, you have to take all. The stolen coins were returned to the treasure chest. Blood pays blood, so the pirates, driving the infamous Black Pearl, burning, killing and looting everywhere, looking for gold coins to spend. Now we've recovered 880, just one more, and this gold coin was being used as a necklace, hanging from the rich lady, on Elizabeth's neck. This day, it's Colonel Harrington's coronation day, father tried to set her up with with the colonel, but Elizabeth, but to the little blacksmith at home, will Turner has a better feeling. At the coronation, Elizabeth was corset, the bundle was suffocating, and not far from the harbor, a mysterious man is creeping in. He was the famous pirate captain, Jack Sparrow, the former captain of the Black Pearl, for being betrayed by the crew, and now he's a bare knuckled commander. And the reason Jack is here is simple, trying to steal a warship, and then out of the hands of renegade Barbasa to take back his own Black Pearl, and make a comeback between him and two stupid soldiers. When confronted with each other, Elizabeth is suffering from lack of oxygen, accidentally fell off the cliff face, into the sea, Jack didn't say a word when he saw it, plunged head first into the sea, to bring Elizabeth ashore, rip off the corset, and I saw her, a gold coin hanging from the neck, where did you get that? Jack was about to press the question, but surrounded by soldiers, the colonel broke his pirate identity and confiscated all of his assets, a gun with only one bullet, and a compass that does not point north, and the captain of wit, it's not going down without a fight, he turned around and took Elizabeth to get away with it. Gentlemen, lady, you will always remember this as the day that you almost caught Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Jack hid in the blacksmith's shop, meet with little handsome Gowl, Will is a good swordsman, it was a close game with Jack, under a stalemate, drunk man behind her, gave Jack a bottle of wine, before they picked up the big pirate, put him in jail, and then that night, the black pearl sailed slowly, burning and looting in the small town, two of the pirates, oh, the smell of gold coins, got it, Elizabeth in the closet, Elizabeth was brought aboard the ship, and handed over the coins, to save his life, he took the name of Will, his sweetheart, said his name was Elizabeth Turner, who knows, intelligence is misled by intelligence, Barbasa was looking for, it's the Turner, because there was an old Turner among the pirates, Barbasa was looking for, only with the blood of his family, LN is a primer, to break the curse, yeah, that's right, Will is the true descendant of the pirates, Elizabeth, just, he got on the boat by mistake, Will on shore was very anxious, to save your loved one, he ran to prison, and set Jack free, because he's the only one, before I knew where the Black Pearl was headed, and Jack is finding Will's, after true identity, and I said yes, but not in my head, what the hell is going on, they came to the harbor, there's been a diversion, managed to steal a warship, long gone, and then they came, in the middle of nowhere, we're looking for a crew, you can tell, Jack was here before, left behind a lot of romantic debt. Thanks to the help of an old man, Captain Jack did find a group, excellent sailors, with Jack's bully pulpit, there is a dwarf of short stature, and the skinny old man and the dumb guy, and a talking parrot, anyone who sees it can see it, this is one, a makeshift army of the old and the sick, but he wants to go to Death Island, it's just Jack and Will, it's definitely not going to work, can't help it, Jack had to take the makeshift team with him, head for that black pearl, and Elizabeth of this time, is being held by Barbasa. it's delicious and delicious, look at the way she eats, Barbasa was envious, because of the ancestral curse, any good food came to his mouth, they are as dull as dust, then, Barbasa told Elizabeth, to treat her like a sacrifice, Elizabeth doesn't feel good, turn around and run for the deck, only to be seen, I almost fainted, the pirate captain walked into the moonlight, in an instant, the original shape is revealed, turned into a walking corpse, Pirates of the Black Pearl, for stealing a crate, a cursed gold coin, into a legion of the living dead, Elizabeth was terrified, she thought, I just got on the boat, I didn't know it was a ghost boat, after, the pirates took Elizabeth, to a place, a cave full of gold and silver, ready to return the last gold coin, and with Elizabeth's blood, as an introduction, release the curse from your body, Captain Barbasa, cut Elizabeth's hand, put gold coins with blood on them, put it back where it was, this moment, they have been waiting for more than 10 years, finally from the state of the living dead, back to normal, enjoy the beauty of the world, but after 
After a while, nothing seems to have changed. The captain fired a shot at the crew. Find out they're not dead. That means the ancestral curse has not been broken. The angry Captain Barbasa to question Elizabeth. Is she the descendant of William Turner, the shoelace king? It was then that Elizabeth realized, your sweetheart, Will, is the key to breaking the curse. Elizabeth won't betray Will. Don't say anything. He was fanned to that ground by the slap of Barbasa. This scene, seen by Will lurking behind a rock, he finally found out what he was made of and realized that Jack, I was using myself. Sorry, Jack. I'm not gonna be your leverage. Will's gonna knock Elizabeth out, and gold coins sneaking out of the cave, ran off with the crew of the warship. In the cabin, Elizabeth told Will, the gold coin belonged to him. Eight years ago, Will was rescued from the sea by the soldiers. Elizabeth feared that he would be regarded as a pirate. To put gold coins, it was taken from Will. The other side, when Barbasa comes around, they're gone. Poor Captain Jack, it's falling down again, in the hands of these traitors. To get the coins back, Barbasa was driving the Black Pearl, head for the Interceptor, to escape. Interceptor crew, began to throw heavy objects into the sea. But I can't shake it, the pursuit of the Black Pearl. So they made one, it's a pretty crazy move, decided not to run. They're making an emergency transfer. Let the hull on the Black Pearl, held in parallel lines, point the cannon at them, and started shooting at each other. This operation, Jack, who was accidentally trapped in the cabin, it was saved. After a fight, because the gap between the two sides is too wide, Captain Barbasa led the pirates and blew up the ship, captured the crew, and threatened to put everyone, kill them all, in a hurry, Will told us his story, and used their lives as leverage, for Barbasa, leave Elizabeth alone, the cunning Barbasa, pretend to say yes, and then I turned around, Elizabeth and Jack, vanished to a desert island, and leave them to rot, that night, a couple of desperate men, got drunk on a desert island, but Elizabeth was not reconciled, waiting to die, the next morning, just burned the island down, huge clouds of smoke, Success has attracted us. British Royal Navy. Elizabeth to be saved. To say yes to the colonel's proposal. As a condition. Ask him to send for Will. The fiancé has spoken. The colonel's not a pushover. And they're holding Jack. Back to Death Island again. The men rowed the boat. Trying to sneak up on Barbasa. Then Jack suggested that. He can go in first. And when the pirates come back to life. Trying to lure them out. And then we can get them all. The colonel agreed to his plan. I don't know. And I'm working on it. Fall into Jack's trap. Jack rowed alone in the boat. Into the cave. Pirates of the moment. Getting ready to rip Will apart. To break the curse, and then Jack came forward to stop it. He said it was, surrounded by the Royal Navy. Once the curse is lifted, you're gonna be normal people. Getting out is a death. Might as well let Will go for now. With the power of immortality, we'll be outside the Royal Navy. Kill a piece. Not leave it. Rob them of their ships. To put together a massive, the combined pirate fleet. And then remove the spell. Isn't the best of both worlds? That's what Jack said. Successfully persuaded Barbasa. So he gave an immediate order to attack. Take a wall. Dark sea floor. A crowd of people crept in. Take a closer look. This is not a man. It's a bunch of skeleton pirates. Their target. This is the naval battleship. The soldiers haven't figured it out yet. The skeleton vikings are already in sight and started killing like crazy when the whole army is about to be destroyed. A soldier sounded the alarm in time and then the colonel realized his hometown was stolen. So hurry up, lead the army back to the rescue. Elizabeth took advantage of the confusion and sneaked back into Death Island. I see it. Jack and Barbasa. Two captains. We're in the middle of a fight. A few rounds down. Jack was down in the wind, was stabbed in the stomach by Barbosa. In the moonlight, Captain Jack's body turned into a skeleton. 2. Original. When I was arguing with Barbasa, he stole away a gold coin, and thus cursed, with an immortal body, with the cooperation of Will and Elizabeth. They cleaned it up successfully, a pawn in a cave. All that's left is, the great villain, Barbasa. To avenge the ship, Jack faces the heart of Barbasa. A shot was fired, then the gold coin with blood on it, threw it to Will. In the last gold coin, back in the treasure chest, the curse is broken. Barbasa has lost his immortality. I feel... and his army of the living dead, and they're affected by it. Without the immortal body, they're no match for the navy. Very soon, he was subdued by that support forces that had come. So far, the whole army of the buccaneers was destroyed. As a former pirate boss, Jack was not pardoned. He went out and was sent to the gallows. Moment of truth. Will's conscience, throw a sword into a stake, stopped Jack's fall. Elizabeth was also driven by death, gave Jack a chance to escape. Before we leave, he hasn't forgotten yet. This is the day that you will always remember as the day that you... Elizabeth took this opportunity and made it clear to my father, the person you like is Will, not the Colonel, and looked at Elizabeth's staunch gaze, the Colonel who was sent a card, choose to accept the facts, let them be, and recaptured the Black Pearl, Captain Jack, and began his new adventure.